Hello, my name is Jonah Battle, and today I'm going to be rescaping my 55 gallon tropical community fish tank. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys um, subscribe down below if you like this video because I'm going to be doing very similar videos for the 125 gallon behind me, which will also be a community tank with turtles, and um, the 55 gallon that you're about to see is going to be. Um, cohabitating with a reptile that is not a turtle so that's pretty exciting and that will be a future video as well as the 75 gallon that is down behind me there um, is also going to be rescaped at some point so uh, hope you guys enjoy to be able to renovate my room, I had to take out my 75 gallon aquarium and my 55 gallon aquarium now I didn't want to completely um, to take apart this 55 gallon aquarium so what I decided that we would do is we would just um, move it into a different room for a little while while we were renovating this one so I drained it all the way down and then I would have to take out the rock so I started doing that here and it's kind of dirty but the problem with that is it completely destroys the tank so then once I had it ready to um, move I took off the filter and then here I had my brother there, this is kind of funny, he takes out my heater, which as you might know will definitely crack and break uh, while I was out of the room and I didn't realize, and um, then I'm just taking out the rocks, and then you can see here I actually realized that my heater's hanging there and it's on. Um, I think this might have broken it, it did break later, but it didn't hurt any of the fish, so I assume this was probably the, the reason. Um, but I got my dad to help me move it. I, no hard feelings. I don't really care. I bought a new heater. And then what we did is we took out the stand into um, the other room and put the tank on it. And, uh, yeah, here it is out in my um, living room. It was quite a stressful move over because um, we had to have, like, just a little bit, like, the least amount of water we could. But at the same time, I have an angelfish, so um, I had to make sure that... I don't know, moving it was kind of hard, and there's just too many fish in here to completely um, get all the fish out to do this. So then I started on the scape. We got it back inside. That happens in a different video um, that is on my channel. And what I've been liking to do is um, actually draw out what I'm going to do before I do it. So I had a basic idea in my mind, and then I started drawing it out. And as you can see, I have other drawings here of either future builds or just ideas that I've had um, that I might, may or may not make in the future, um, different things. So I drew it out, and then once I had my plan, I took it, and this was in desperate need of a water change and a cleaning and everything like that. So I, um, as you can see, the rocks weren't in it, but I took... Um, the thing, the stuff that was, was in it out, um, or the things that I didn't want, and then I, um, started working on, uh, escaping it how I wanted it, and then here, this was actually the next day when I went ahead and finished up escaping the tank, just moving around some plants, just moved, like, a couple rocks, just, uh, refining it because I had to kind of leave abruptly when I was escaping it before and then here is the day of um, me editing this video I actually went ahead and did a water change and I thought I'd add this um, as you can see the algae came back I think that's just something I have to deal with it doesn't uh, really bother me all that much but it, it, again it was in desperate need of a water change and I actually drained it way more today than I actually meant to um, I guess I wasn't really paying attention while I was cleaning it and then now you're sleeping. So tank. we have the tank, and I think it looks really, really nice. Um, you can see right through it, which is kind of different because normally it has algae everywhere. But um, I guess this could be a bit of a problem because it's, like, blue in the back. But I don't really care. Um, like I said, this tank's going to be changing um, in the future. The scape will probably be changing. Not a whole lot. Basically the same idea, just different. Um just kind of like how I did it today but um it's also them to be in a different place and then I think I'm going to try to put a 75 gallon right here so there's that and then I I'd have plans now which is pretty cool but I think every everybody's doing um really well but I really like it 
and just with the water change and everything that I did today, it's just super duper clear and nice looking. And there you can see my angelfish that I was talking about. And then I have lots of Cory catfish. Um, uh, yeah, and then here while I'm at it, I did a water change on all the tanks. This one still doesn't look good, but it's clearer than it was. This one is like super clear. There's a bunch of particles in the water because I don't have um, like any real mechanical filtration on this tank or any filtration whatsoever. Um, it's literally just a pump right now. So um, it doesn't look as clear on camera, but it is really quite clear, especially with the, the glass had algae on it as well, just from the window. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you, like I said, subscribe for all the things that are coming up. Um, that tank will be set up properly. I'll, I'm actually planning on building a filter for that. So that'll be very interesting. That tank, like I said, will be, um, escaped and stuff. It's only supposed to have that turtle in it, but all the goldfish will be going into a pond at some point. Um, so I'm looking forward to building that pond. Uh, we have it. We just need to set it up, make a filter for it or buy a filter. I don't know what I'm going to do. And then there's this tank. Um, when I do move it to where it's going, I plan on making it kind of like a South American isotope. So, um, I'll probably move the betta out of here because there's a betta somewhere. Um, I can't see it currently, but I'm sure he's hiding somewhere within, um, like be behind that wood. It's just, there's like an area there. And then this catfish, which is a dwarf stripe catfish from uh, Asia, will also be coming out. And those two will probably go in there, or at least the catfish will. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the uh, betta yet. But, um, yeah, I plan on making a South American isotope and hopefully getting more guppies. I think that'd be really cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have a fantastic day. And, uh, subscribe for more content.